It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about Outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. folks and welcome aboard. I'm Captain Roy. And I'm Cheryl Little and we're at the Bear Creek Lodge this morning. And I'll say a good morning to you Cheryl. And a good morning to you Captain Roy. <laughs> we've got a lot to do Cheryl and uh, I tell you what this, we've got a couple got a couple of emails. Okay. But first give the Lake Seminole fishing report. Okay and this is from Guy Jody Wells and Jody says that the bass bite has slowed down a bit. He says that brim are biting in seven to eight feet of water and fish along the grass beds with crickets. So that's a good report from Guy Jody Wells. Give Jody a call and let him take you fishing. Sure, we do have a lot to do this morning. We're gonna be drawing from our sweepstakes. Mm -hmm. And so you wanna stay tuned for that and see if your name is called. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, let's just do some fishing. Okay, that, hey, we both went fishing this day, didn't we? And we bumped into each other. We right? did. <laughs> <laughs> so just take a break and go fishing. All right. The Register Meat Company was founded over 71 years ago by Pappy Register. Register's premier product is their country-style sausage. It is 100% pure pork and hog casings with their secret seasonings. It's packaged in mild hot and I mean hot. Their sugar cure bacon is smoked for hours. And Register's premium hams are pumped with their special ham pump. If you're in the Cottondale area, stop by their country store and ask about their Pick 5 program and their veggie bushel. Look for Register's Meats at your local grocery. Do you have your life jacket on? tell you I'm on the Hobie Tandem Island. Yes, Mom, I have my life jacket on. Ron, I hope we can get you on the camera now. <laughs> I tell you what, it's foggy. It has been foggy this morning. Ronald Fuller, Dothan, Alabama, owner of the Southern Outdoor Sports up there. Known Ronald a long time. Ronald, you sold a lot of spec rigs for me. Yeah, we You did. said you had one in your tackle box? I may have two in there. If you do, I don't have a one. Well, I may just loan you one. <laughs> uh, Ronald is one of our sponsors and uh, one of our fine sponsors. I was glad they took, that uh, he came on as a sponsor because I've always thought a lot of Ron and his dad. And uh, he, he, if you go to my Facebook and look down at his advertisement, uh, uh, my son, of course, he does all that for me, thank the Lord. And I saw something that looked like a trash can, Ronald. <laughs> and I said, I asked him, I said, Greg, why did you, put a trash can on his advertisement on, on the Facebook. He said, Dad, that's not a garbage can. <laughs> he told me, what, what, what was it, Ronald? It was a big green egg. A big green egg is yeah. what it's called. That's one of the famous the, cookers the, right now, right? The world's most popular 
grill. Is that right? Yeah, that's what they mm -hmm. advertise. You sell them up there, as long as everything else. <laughs> yeah. And uh, look at that, what I was talking to him. <laughs> Ron, you better get the net now. That's pretty. You can stick him in that net. <laughs> How about that? Let's get started here, Ron. Already, hey, Ron, I lost, lost my net. Ron, catch the catch the net. <laughs> now see if you can now see if you can catch the fish. Now swing him right around here. Oh, uh, him right up here, Ron. Just like this right here. Ah, that's, that's a good way to start. I'm gonna see if I can catch me one, Ron. That's what you caught him on, all right? DOA. 411 paddle tail. <laughs> One with a gold tail. You can put him back. All right. There he is. Ron, I'm sorry I didn't get a, I didn't get to fight, but I had my bait out there <laughs> and I had a hit, but you hit you still catching them on that paddle tail. Yeah. I'll another, tell you what. I, another beautiful little trout. And I've got another paddle tail if you don't go to hit the Arkansas blue. <laughs> He went in the grass. Did you lose it again, Rawl? I lost number three. Number three? Yeah. That was a fine red. We'll get it. He was a little more than my tackle would handle because <laughs> he went in the grass and broke me off. Broke you, couldn't get him out of the grass. Yeah. That was a big red. He was a good one. Ron, let's have a little meeting of the mind. All right. <laughs> you just lost another big red off, and I got a big trout right up here about ready to dead him when he come off. I need a coach. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? We can do different. I, I think I think I got rusty. You got rusty. Yeah. Uh, what do you say, Ron? One more on the DOA. <laughs> yeah. That's not as big as that. Where you've been losing out. No. This one's gonna go back in a hurry. All right, Ron. You gonna handle that one? I hope that I can get this one to the boat so we can get a good look at it. Well, if you whip it down a little bit before you get him too close. And I'm not in any hurry. I, my plane don't leave no time for <laughs> Hey, I like, I like to see that right there. Now, let me tell you, I do wrong. You sure call this one. You said there'd be redfish over here, and they're here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't say I said sometime wrong. Uh, all right. You're doing good with just, just that, that old boy. Oh, you caught mine. Tell you how to catch that fish. You, and I had to lose him. You just did whatever. But I did get. A, I did see him come up there though one time. Got a, got a picture of the world. I think you're gonna put this one in the boat. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna Ronald, try I did see him one time. <laughs> that is fine. Ooh, what a red fish, Ronald. Yep. Yeah. If you can put him right there, I'll try to net him for you. And I got him in the net. I can't pick him up. Now you're going to have to pick him up. Whoa. Good. <laughs> what a red fish. Is that what you come for, Ron? That was it. <laughs> Ron, is that a pretty one or is that a pretty one? That's a beautiful red fish. <laughs> DOA uh, New Penny. New, oh, that's the New Penny. Mm-hmm. Old John Farr had some of them one day and wouldn't give me one of them, and he was just catching the fire out of them on that deal with new penny. I got a few more. I might loan you one. Now, you did, you stocked up now on deal with baits. You bet. And uh, you're going to order some paddle tails, too, now. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to add them. <laughs> got the oh. shrimp and, and paddle. We have to add the paddle tails. All right. <laughs> He's got them, folks. Go up there sell the outdoor sports, and you can find these deal with baits. <laughs> Wrong? <laughs> did you dock that trout off, my <laughs> I knocked him off. That was a fine one. Right? <laughs> he was a good one. <laughs> I don't want you to get ahead of me that far. far. What are you doing? You're playing I, now. I'm then, trying to tie another one on. I was fishing, and uh, you didn't want me to. You just, I'll, take, I, I'll get him back. Yeah, I don't want you getting ahead of me that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you netting that fish for me there. Ronald, but that's that's not as big as what we've been lo kept losing, is it? No, I, I'll I'll just net the small ones <laughs> yeah, for you. You'd have knocked him off if he'd been up <laughs> one of them big ones again, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're having a big time. That's what counts, Ronald. Boy, they're biting good, and we having a good time. <laughs> I can hold it. Hey, Ron. New one, penny again, huh? One more on a new penny DOA. <laughs> okay. 
wrong. Now he struck mine first. So he ha I, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna say he's half mine. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you take him off the hook then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, half I'm yours. glad you caught him. Yeah, it's come on. I knew my camera didn't go. Now it's on. <laughs> That's pretty nice trout there, Rob. Another, another nice yeah, trout. Another nice trout. I tell you what, the pelicans, they either full or, they, or they're not feeding. I tell you, they're a drove of pelicans there. That's the wrong. <laughs> yeah. Want your boy to get out there and show me where the fish are. Pretty proud, Ronnie. He like to jump in the boat to get that one, didn't he? That's how much line I had out. <laughs> Three feet of line. Three feet of line. He caught that mm -hmm. big old big trout there. Hold it with a little bit, but there you go. I don't know what I don't know what you're gonna do next, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in the boat nearby. Ron, I appreciate it. Now you didn't knock that one off. You caught him for no, me. No, I'll I'll land one <laughs> in the net for you every now and then. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Hold him up, Ron. Let me take your picture. New penny. New way, new penny. You you put it on me now. <laughs> I'll, I'll catch you up in a minute. Yeah, that's a good trout. Net him, net him, net him, net him. Hey, that, that new penny is kind of paid off. They had it wrong. It's been a good one. Been a good bait. Got him coming again, have you, Ronald? Yeah. That's a pretty trout. Another one coming in. Oh, that's a pretty trout there, Ronald. <laughs> all summer. Keep it up with me all summer. That looks like a familiar face, Cheryl. <laughs> what in the world are you doing out here on the water? I'm trying to catch some redfish, but I hadn't seen any. We hadn't seen any redfish. You, you haven't seen your redfish. Southern Outdoor Sports, just off the circle on Hartford Highway in Dothan. We carry a large selection of guns, ammo, and reloading supplies from ground blinds, tree stands, camo clothing, and boots. For the fishermen, we have freshwater and saltwater tackle, rods, reels, and a large selection of lures. We are a dealer for Bimini Bay, Under Armour, Sims, and Orvis clothing. We are also an authorized dealer for Browning, Benelli, Big Green Egg, and Liberty Safe. Outdoor specialties since 1969. This is Nate with Mexico Beach Marina. Remember, we're a key dealer for Yamaha Outboards as well as a five-star certified service department. Dealer for Edgewater Powerboats. Our marina store still offers all your latest tackle, live bait, bulk ice, ethanol-free fuel, and slip rentals. And our beach store has everything you need for your day at the beach with Guy Harvey, Salt Life, Sperry, Top Cider, Hook and Tackle, Bimini Bay, and much more. You can check out our website at MexicoBeachMarina.com. Check out our Facebook page. So come on down to beautiful Mexico Beach and come on in and say hi. Here at the Mux Auto Exchange, we do the hard work for our customers, and it starts with finding quality inventory. To avoid problems, we use the latest technology to check for damage and evaluate the car's history. We know exactly what we're buying. Then, our Napa Auto Care Center completes a hands-on inspection, making sure that all service records are up to date. We don't have salespeople, and we don't have finance managers, but what we do have are personal car buyers that help folks get cleaner, better priced pre-owned autos. And we work directly with lenders to get the lowest interest rates possible. We save our customers thousands. Moats Auto Exchange, Highway 231 North of Ozark. Online at wiregrasscars.com. Well, you and Ronald had a great day. Put one big red fish in the boat out. Cheryl, we got, we couldn't count up how many we actually lost off. Now, Ronald broke a couple of them off. But they were just, they were not real aggressive or something. They, they take their mouths in the bait and not really taking it. And we lost off eight or ten big red fish. After wow. we play them a little while, they come off. Anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good day on the water, though. You guys found the redfish. We didn't find the redfish. And up next, we're going to have some fish in uh, Tommy, the fellow that has put up with me all summer long, helping me with the lawn care business. Awesome fellow, hard worker. 
just an incredible guy. We snuck off and we went fishing instead of working for a day. <laughs> so we had a real good time. And uh, right after this, we're going to show the fishing trip with Tommy Danley. And also, I want to show something. This is the coolest thing, Cat Roy. This is Landon Mace. And Landon landed a sailfish out of his kayak over in the Destin area. And uh, he just... I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> Isn't that just incredible? I mean, that's just like a bucket list kind of a thing to do. I can't imagine. Where did he hook him? He landed him in Destin. Did he hook him in New Orleans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he definitely went for a ride. But it was really neat to, uh, to see the video. And um, really neat that we're able to share this video with you uh, with Landon, Landon, his sailfish. And you can tell he took a lot of great care as far as being real careful with the fish and landed them and then of course he revived them and let them go so good job Landon and also real quick I want to uh, mention that Jerry McBride our buddy um, and check this out Jerry's been catching the black fin tuna out of a kayak um, he landed several of them um, on a couple of day trip that he made kayak fishing and he's also going to be doing um he's, well he does this in the Stewart Florida area and it would be great to have him here in our area to do a fishing seminar and he wants to keep the numbers really small. And if you're interested in getting out on the water and spending the day with Jerry McBride and learning his techniques on how to kayak fish and learn from the master, give me a buzz at the number on the screen and I can give you more information. And he is gonna to try to keep the groups real small. And I heard that he's gonna be bringing some key lime pie. So whoever goes out on the trip actually gets one of Jerry's famous key lime pies. He makes, he actually grows the limes in his backyard and everything is made from scratch. He, he, he fish with him several times. I do. I fish with him, you know, quite often. And, and um, he really is neat as far as teaching you your approach to your fishing hole, how to work the lures, um, just the whole gamut. So I think it would be a great thing to sign up and get on board and do. Cheryl probably going along too. Please. I'm sure that I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tack along on that. So you want to go fishing with my let's, buddy Tommy? Let's go. Hey, I ran into you. Yep. <laughs> I start, we started in. I saw kayaks over there. Yeah, that was who it was. Mm -hmm. So let's let's enjoy her fishing. Okay. Southeast Tree Experts, 25 years experience in residential and commercial tree removal and trimming. We specialize in topping, pruning, tree removal, trimming, stump grinding, lot cleanup, and much more. Southeast Tree Experts are contracted with the city, county, and state. Fully insured up to $2 million, so you can rest assured that you're working with professionals. Owner and operator Bobby Braswell is present on each and every job, and you'll always be treated with courtesy and respect. Call the experts, Southeast Tree Experts. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors, along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA Lures, they are American made. DOA Lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. We are so lucky to live in North Florida. We have some of the best fresh and saltwater fishing in the world. My biggest problem is not catching fish, but trying to decide what kind of fish I want to catch. No matter what I'm after, I always stop at Sun Jammers Water Sports first. They have just what I need, rods and reels, line, tackle, and most important, live bait. Yes, sir, we sure are lucky. Got the first fish of the day. Oh, you know, I don't even have a measuring stick. Oh man, that was something big that hit right there, wasn't it? Did you bring a measuring stick? No. Darn, I didn't even think about that, Tommy. You think she's big enough? I don't know. Sure is pretty.
Betty. Tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn, steak, and egg is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I dine out there. It's owned and operated by Linda and Willard Corn. They are the original and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and their breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Corn Heavenly Hash. Corn, steak, and egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at the ship store at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Everything you remember and so much more. In there and sometimes you can see that and he's got two oops sorry he's got two little antennas sometimes they poke out sure it looked like y'all had a good day we let, let me say right quick like we only show the highlights of our trip because yeah. when we, we stay on the water so much we can't show the entire trip y'all caught some nice we trout. did catch some nice trout yeah, yeah we had a good time that was his first time kayak fishing i think he really enjoyed it yeah. You probably sold, him, sold another kayak. Uh, Shirley, we've, let's go ahead and draw fire out of our sweet state. Okay. Because we want to get that done if we don't get anything else done. And this is, uh, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's show people what we're going to be drawing for. Okay, that sounds good. Floating down Econfina Creek is easy, and it's fun for the whole family. Birds sing in a canopy of green, and six crystal clear pools lure swimmers into the bubbling spring water. Econfina Creek Canoe Livery makes it all possible with canoes, kayaks, paddles, and life vests. Just bring a picnic and go with the flow. At Journey's Inn, a shuttle waits for your return upstream. Econfina Creek Canoe Livery, one mile north of Highway 20 on Strickland Road, midway between Highway 77 and 231. Cheryl, let's let's draw and see who's going on okay. a canoe trip for two people down beautiful Econfiner Creek. Creek and Chops Gay. Chops Gay, congratulations, <laughs> Chops. I know Chops. I've, in fact, I've been fishing with him a few times, and now you let the girls and mom go down on that canoe trip, Chops. Yeah. <laughs> now, is Chop Gay related to Debbie Gay? Do you know? We're no, not I don't sure. think so. Okay. I don't think there's any relation there. Okay. Uh, now, sure, we, uh, if folks want to enter our sweepstakes, and by the way, we'll be drawing next week, we'll draw, be drawing something out every week. Mm -hmm. Tell them how to enter the sweepstakes. Okay, what you want to do is go to Outdoors at Captain Roy and email us your telephone number. And if you do not have a computer, you can call us at 850-722-9382 to enter. And that's Outdoors with Captain Roy.com. Yep. That's, okay. That's it. And that's it. Now, and we invite you, I do, folks, we spend a lot of time on our webpage to go to CaptainRoy.com. All you have to dial in and get my fishing forecast and just all sorts of information on there. And we also put all of our shows on YouTube. Yeah. 
and you can click right on YouTube. So visit our webpage, CaptainRoy.com, and uh, and I think that you get all the information you want to know about when the fish are biting and so forth. And they've been biting here lately. They I have. love this time of the year, the fall time. The bait fish is starting to get all bunched up, and it's just a great time of the year to get out in the water and go fishing. Cheryl, I'm going to ask you something now. I think we've got time left. The bays are all stained. Mm -hmm. They're really stained. And what baits are you using to, to, to get the best results out of fishing in this stained water? Well, you know, I'm always using that Arkansas Glow. Only because it does glow, and I do feel like it kind of stands out. And I, I guess that's what I have my confidence in, is either the Arkansas Glow or the 411 Paddle Tail. You'll be proud of me because that's her favorite bait. <laughs> Uh, I went yesterday and uh, we went over in West Bay and it is still, it's really stained, but now we caught some keeping size trout and uh, I think I caught them on the Arkansas Glow and I don't have one here to show folks, but we, we be watching next week, we'll try to show you how to rig it up and the 411 paddle tail, that's e easy rem to remember and a new one that, to me is that new penny yeah. And they have them that's a good in Southern Outdoor Sports. Well, that's what Ronald was fishing with uh, when you saw him catch the, the big red fish. Uh huh. Was it was a penny? New penny new, color. New penny, uh, not a paddle tail. Is it? No, it's a shad tail. Yeah, shad tail. That's a really good color for flounder, too. Yeah. So, DOA we're baits out of time. will work right now in the same world. You something that's, that's showing up good. And those two baits show up good. They do, yep. Yeah. Well, we're out of time. Out of time, fast. folks. I hope you've enjoyed the show. We've enjoyed uh, making the show for you because it did take us for about five retakes this morning this to get true. it in. <laughs> <laughs> remember to tune us in next week at the same time, folks. And remember to always try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. <laughs>